Welcome back YouTube. So in this video, we're going to talk about the re recent price action and what we're looking at going forward, because pretty much everything that we talked about in the last video has come uh, to fruition. Uh, we did have this gap through this zone, which is exactly what we talked about. This is was this was precisely expected. Um, we talked about having this gap. We're filling the other side of this bowl here, even more so um, to the fuller extent before we had the dip down, which was around that 1750 mark. You'll see that we had a closure here and then an opening uh, there again. And then this is kind of where we are right now as far as for we're at the tip of the zone here. We'll talk about what this uh, signal here means. Now, again, this candle could close. This is a daily candle, so we could see this kind of um, a shift here. But for, for the moment, we are green. And if you study candlesticks, this daily candle, oh, <laughs> it just turned red as soon as I said we are green. But um what this candlestick here, what it looks like is we have the potential here to close with a shooting star. And what th what that means is a shooting star is typically you're going to um, expect a reversal in trend. Now, again, th this is a daily candle. It still could close uh, something different. But um, overall, typically you'll want to, uh, if you see a, like a shooting star, let's say if you were day trading or something like that, you'll see a shooting star and then you will will wait for the next candle to kind of give you an idea of like direction because this could indicate a change in direction because right now we've had two red closures here as we went to retest this and this is what we let's go back to may you'll see may 19th i'll say may 20th through the 28th so around eight days we we had a battle in the zone that we are now right so this is a very unique part of um, resistance here for breaking out. And so, um, but this is one of the things that we're going to look for here is, is to see if we're going to get a, um, a at least tomorrow, we're going to see if we're going to get some green candles here to try and uh, see if we're going to have a reversal here or if we need to grab some liquidity possibly off of the 14 day, which is this, uh, this yellow line here. They're just known for doing that. So well, the reason I brought this battle zone here is um, this is something, this is a zone, the, the May 20th through the 28th. This is a zone that we flipped um, before and it turned into support. And I think this is going to be very telling as far as for when, uh, where the support's going to be and when we retest to higher levels, like that 20 to 22 cent range. Because typically, as we talked about, this was a gap zone here to around 16 cents. There's another gap zone. Um, that is that pretty much is if we break above this, typically that sends us to test around 20, uh, 20 cents, right? So that's another gap zone here. We have some uh, resistance here around like the 18 cents mark, but typically when we are, we may close at around 18 cents, but typically we're going to run until we have till we get to around that 20 cents mark and then you start to see sellouts, right? So that's what, um, if you look back here, like on what is this, March 5th, and like March 14th and any of these, uh, some of these other days too, like March 9th and stuff, you'll see that we closed around 18 cents, but these wicks, we ran into the 20 cent range, right? So like uh, that day, March 5th, we went to almost 21 cents. Um, the 14th, we went to over 19 cents. Um, same thing, high 18s on the 9th. So it, it just gives us an opportunity here to position ourselves for another bigger uh, candle here. So ultimately that's what we're going to need. Now I do, we do have to acknowledge the fact, and this is something we talked about in our last video as well, is the fact that who wins this election determines a lot about um, the capital coming into crypto, right? Uh, so we have about four days. And so the biggest thing is, uh, I want to be very clear with this statement. I'm not saying that um, the, the, that depending on who wins the election, that determines if crypto is dead or if it's going to exist or not. That's not what I'm saying. What, I'm, what I am saying is that uh, it matters as far as for the amount of liquidity that comes into the market, when that liquidity comes in and who it comes from. That absolutely matters, right? And I think that um, we have to uh, be conscious of that when we are uh, considering like in investing and all that. And let's also be prepared to have a bigger move to the upside. You know, that this is who wins the election can determine, um, you know, the major capital uh, coming into the market as far as some institutional, institutional investors and things like that. That's going to be a, a big factor in like BTC going over 100K. 
Um, Doge going to all time highs. And I do believe that a lot of these assets are going to see that as well, but um, it can happen much sooner and much faster depending on these results coming up. So, um, you know, as we get polling and information and stuff like that, like I said, over the next week or so, or it's maybe next week, I'll say up until um, what, Tuesday, this, you can it's expect some volatility here, some up, down, some retesting and stuff like that. Uh, maybe not necessarily some huge gaps to the upside just until we get some confirmation on which way things are going to go. So uh, I want to also zoom in here and then also zoom out for you guys because we're talking about filling bowls. So the first bowl that we filled was the around the 16 cents mark, right? So we had this dip down and then we came up and we filled the first part of the bowl, right? There's also a bigger bowl, which is around the um, like the 1746 cent mark, right? And you can see here we came down and we are about right there, right? Filling that bowl, right? And then we have the third one, which we haven't done yet, which is going to be right around what we talked about just a second ago, which was that 20 uh, cents mark, right? That's where we get the gap at if we're able to flip that 18 cents mark and um, use instead of that. Uh, support, excuse, well, necessarily, excuse me, excuse, flip the, uh, like the 16 cents mark and, you know, have that gap. That's where we're going to have typically see the uh, support, the resistance turn into support. This is going to be the, let's say one, two, this is going to be the third bowl, right? For all that 20 cents. So that means that we will have a increase. Let me see if I can just put it up here. So from where we are now, uh, any point in time here, but I'm just going to use here means that we're going to see something to write about here. And again, it doesn't, it's, it's probably not going to be this smooth, but I just want to put it here so you guys know what I'm talking about. That's going to be bowl number three. And for the fourth one, we're going to see, I'll just put it over here, something like this, right? So those are the next two phases of this bowl that we're seeing here get filled. And this is going to give us certainly an idea um, about, you know, like trends and strength of the movement, how these candles look again, who won the election, what's their plans for crypto? Um, you know, did we, you know, did we get here on a wick or is it a, like a candle, a God candle? Or are the candles weak? Is it, it, it's a lot of variables here that we're going to have to play by ear, but it, it makes a big difference here. And I kind of want to give you some idea of what the next two phases are for filling um, uh, filling this bowl. And this will certainly give us an idea of what to um, expect going forward, because then we can have some projections here based off again, off of the strength of the movement as we go in deeper into the twenties. And then we can reach back and pull some of that old data and start talking about, okay, what were some previous resistance points like around 25 cents? I was 25 cents, 28 cents just going off the top of my head. And then we will, kind of go from there but as of right now i'm not going to um you know talk too much about some of those higher prices i'm just kind of going to deal with what's going on right now on the charts and then we'll cross that bridge um possibly we'll be talking about this next week um with uh once we have some ideas as far as for who's going to win the election i know right now a lot of the hot topics are okay well how high do you think it's going to go since we're moving and i want to refrain from that right now until we fill out some of these other bowls here and uh, get some confirmations on the strength of the movement. And then we'll talk about it. Another thing is we got the, like, I, like we talked about as well, we got the golden cross here between the 14 and the 200. Very good signal. This one is much stronger, right? This orange line, the 72 day, much stronger signal, right? Much stronger signal and typically much stronger signals. Uh, the more, the stronger the signal, the stronger the move to the upside, right? Same thing in reverse. If it was a downtrend, the stronger the signal to the downside, the stronger the move, right? So look, if you hear, you look at the opposite that happened here, you have the 72 crossing the 200 on a death cross. Look how many red days we had, right? A strong signal to the downside, right? So flip it, strong signal to the upside. So this is going to be very telling here. We are narrowing that gap relatively quickly. And I believe and uh, if we are able to maintain this, especially this zone that we have here, I believe this 72 to 200 will send us to a new high for this cycle uh, for sure. So that's one of the things that we're going to be watching as well if this kind of plays out. But I do believe that we have 
um, some very telling things coming up here as we get closer to the elections. And again, we d determine how much capital and stuff like that is going to be coming into um, the market. So with that being said, uh, that is my update on price action. Let me know you guys thought. Let me know if you think that we're going to see uh, some big moves coming up here in the next four days or so. And uh, let me know what your price projections are. I actually want to hear that because with this, I believe we're we'll be having that conversation uh, next week. So that being said, appreciate all of you guys. Thank you for watching the videos. Please continue to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. <music>